Hi, thank you very much. So, who am I? Well, um, I do robotics here at the school, but more importantly, I consider myself a hacker. Now, what does that mean? Well, the media likes to portray it a little bit like this, you know? You get the basic picture, you know, the uh, you know, nerdy kid in a dark basement somewhere halfway across the world, frantically typing at his keyboard, making all the money uh, out of your bank account disappear. But in my opinion, that's not what hacking is. Hacking, at least as, uh, as far as I have experienced it, looks a lot more like this. Um, so, this here is a makerspace. You uh, might have seen a similar one in the Cesar Harada video we saw a couple of minutes ago. Now, this here is a diverse group of people of all ages coming together to build, to modify, to you know, uh, disassemble, reassemble, to be able to create and solve problems by exploiting existing technology. And so, yeah, a lot different from you know, the typical media view. And there is a third meaning of hacking, and that is that of a, well, you know, uh, prank, a um, little practical joke you play on your friends with technology. So I was, you know, hacking around, and I was playing around with this little device here. It's a USB key. Everyone knows what that is, right? A um, little device used for transferring files. Very useful, but, um, you know, what, what, what could this do? What could this little harmless device do to your computer? Well, uh, let me ask you a question. If you saw this device, you know, lying around near your computer, would you proceed to plug said device into your computer? If you answered yes, think again. Because this harmless little device is what is called an HID injection device, or a rubber ducky. But don't let, you know, the cute name confuse you. Because this is a very dangerous device that uses, uh, that emulates your keyboard and injects malicious keystrokes into your uh, computer to, you know, execute uh, commands, f you know, ranging all the way from uh, installing malware to deleting your entire hard drive and everything in between. And so, you know, I was playing around with a little homemade version of these, a little harmless prank on my friends. Um, all it would do was hide the mouse cursor of my friend's computers for a couple of minutes, and what I did was, I took this device and placed it, you know, on my computers, uh, on my friend's computers, and uh, waited until they returned to their computers, and I wanted to see what would happen once, you know, they got back. How many do you think would plug the USB stick into their computers? Turns out, quite a lot. 70%, okay. I only tried out on 10 friends, so small sample size, I know. But still, surprising, you know, because at this, you know, very tech-savvy school where every kid has a computer and uses it for, you know, most of their school day, 7 out of 10 people plugged a computer, uh, plugged a USB of unknown source into their computer. And, you know, that got me thinking, you know, what are the causes for this? How, how could this happen here? Well, you know, the obvious answer is, yeah, kids today don't know about, you know, the dangers of uh, little security uh, of, of devices and, um, yeah. But that's not really my point. I don't, I'm not here to teach you about, you know, how to be secure and, and you know, what, what, you should, what precautions you should be taking. What this little experience made me realize is that kids today don't understand technology. They do not know how it works. Now, that might surprise you. Of course they do. Well, think again uh, about what I said. They, do, uh, they understand you know, how to use technology. They understand um, basic concepts such as going to Facebook, chatting with their friends, playing video games, uh, completing their schoolwork, but they do not understand how the technology works. They do not understand the technology behind what they do every day. Now, of course, you know, the reasons for this are multiple. Uh, like, you know, there's a culture of uh, going against, um, uh, uh, there's a culture of calling people who understand their computers nerdy and such, but, you know, why should we care? Why should we really care about how our computers work? Well, the thing is, if you don't understand how your computer works, that means you're not comfortable 
using it. That means there are certain things that scare you about your computers. And look around yourself. You know, there's a computer in your pocket, your smartphone. There's a computer possibly in your bag. There's a computer in your car. There's a computer in your fridge. There's a computer, you know, these days even in your thermostat. And people are afraid, you know, are not comfortable using these things. Imagine how we, the digital generation, will look when we enter the job market and we're not comfortable using computers. You know, like, disaster, right? So how do we fix that? Well, that's where we go back to that hacker culture I was talking about. We should start tinkering with our technology. We should start modifying, you know, uh, disassembling, reassembling, and hacking our computers. Because if we start doing that, we will become comfortable with how our computers work. And with that, you know, with that comfort, who knows what we'll do. Now, of course, grand words, but how do we achieve that? You know, I can't just tell you, start hacking computers and expect that you'll know what to do. Well, for starters, you know, join your lo local robotics club. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little shameless plug. But um, can't commit to that? Well, then, um, you know, hop into your local makerspace and see what they're up to. Or, you know, don't even want to do that? Well, it can be as simple as being comfortable with changing basic settings on your computer, like even your desktop, right? And once you are able to do that, um, right, so if I want to leave you with one thing, don't be afraid to play with your computers because, you know, we'll see what fun we have if, if you're not. <laughs>